Pay me, pay me, pay me my silver now. Pay me or go to jail. Pay me my silver now. Go to Ruta.com. Uh, silver is, there's a battle going on in silver. Um, good guys, bad guys, who knows. Again, they can click a mouse and set the price at minus $40 like they did with oil. Or they can click a mouse and set the price of silver at a million dollars an ounce. It's that easy. It's a click of a mouse. Um, if they ever stop clicking the mouse on the rise and just let the true fair market value of silver be determined uh, with freely traded assets, it, the price would raise instantly into the thousands of dollars. So just be prepared for that. It's been a long road. I understand people are tired. I'm tired as well. Let me tell you, we've never been closer to setting silver free, and it's been going on for 170 years. So now is a really, really, really important time to have physical silver in your own possession. No mining shares, no ETFs, no silver with a third party. They will all be gone, in my opinion. All it takes is the destruction of a, what, four quadri- three or four quadrillion dollar uh, derivative market uh, that J.P. Morgan thinks they control, but <laughs> nobody controls that. It was, it was decided to build that thing up so big that it would destroy absolutely every bank, every checking account, savings account, you name it. Get your assets in your own possession, and then we'll worry about that other stuff after the system shuts down. Uh, one of the first things that will shut down most likely will be the comics, the silver trading on the comics. They're going invite, to invent all kinds of things. Oh, it's force majeure because, you know, we, we nuked, we nuked uh, Iran or Iran nuked Israel or whatever the, the, the choice, whatever they choose to do to say this is why the silver market needs to be shut down. Uh, it'll have nothing to do with the true fact of what really happened behind the scenes, which is silver has been rigged on the comics, the futures and options market for since the 70s, 100%. Um, and that's breaking free as we speak. And someday soon, I think in 2024, which is very soon, I've been in this game a very long time, 25 years now. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we've learned a lot over the years. But right now, it's all about solar. And people keep sending me emails saying, oh, solar's dead, Bix. What are you talking about? Of course, they're wrong. Way wrong. Ridiculously wrong. And I'll show you why. Um, so, yeah, it's looking good today. They tried to slam it down. It's coming back up. This isn't real free market trading. It's it's programs they probably programmed in a month ago. And, you know, they, they go day by day. They usually set about a month ahead of time where they're going to place the price of silver so don't get excited when it goes up down or sideways this is huge <clears throat> and i've been screaming about this and nobody seems to be talking about um the silver institute numbers are half of what they should be as far as solar installations in reality photovoltaics took up 300 around 380 to 400 million ounces of silver and the Silver uh, Institute, through Metals Focus or vice versa, said there was only 193. Shockingly low number, shockingly embarrassing number. It's only up 38% from the year before, another shockingly low number. Um, but the amount of solar installed was up 76%. So please explain to everybody, Silver Institute and Metals Focus, how the amount of solar panels installed went up 76%. But the amount of silver used in those solar panels only went up 38%, which we know that's complete bullshit. As a matter of fact, 35%, 30 to 35% was Topcon, which uses even more silver. And then this year, this year, the plans for Topcon are 70, 80% will be Topcon. So obviously, the Silver Institute, they don't have it wrong. They're lying. They didn't get it wrong. They know exactly what at least an approximation of the number is. But they're lying about their own data. And I circled in red every single historical data that they have changed to make the percentages look close to reality. That should be illegal. But hey, I'm not a regulator. Thank God for that. I'm not a fan of regulators. They're either too stupid or too corrupt and bought off. These days it's half and half. Anyway, uh, really interesting times for uh, 
let's talk solar. Last year, 443 gigawatts of solar panels were installed. And everybody's like, oh, solar's dead. You know, they, they break all the time. You don't know what you're talking about. They're going to thrift out silver out of every solar panel. Blah, 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 blah. It's all bullshit because the numbers don't lie. And no, we're not going to bump up 5 or 10% this year. It's going to be 60, 70, 80% jump again. Which is into the 600, 700, 800 gigawatts of solar. And it's already being done. For example, everybody raise your hand if you think solar in the United States has had horrible news for the past six months. We've all seen it. That news is, is related around the cost of the panels going so low that all these companies are going out of business. And the regulators are changing. For example, California won't pay a lot of people for uh, the elect extra electricity they, they sell into the market, which is complete reversal of what they had promised. California is just insane, and I live there. Uh, but here's the latest. Uh, solar to contribute over 60% of new U.S. electricity generation in 2024. This just came out from the EIA. EIA is a ridiculous organization. They always lowball. But they even lowballing, listen to what the, their projections are for new installations of solar in the United States. Again, raise your hand if you think solar is dying in the United States. Here is their projection for new installations. Solar is the major driver of this energy transition. The EIA said that solar will provide 41% more electricity in 2024 than in 2023. And this is key. The EIA said that the 19 gigawatts of solar capacity added in 2023 and the over 37 gigawatts expected this year account for the jump in generation. 19, 37, over 37. So it's 100%. It's a hundred. It's doubled again from the monster year last year in um, in the United States. It has doubled. Everybody's saying solar's dead. Just go home. You got it wrong again for the ninety millionth time. <laughs> How many times can you get it wrong? So I I'm really interested to see what the Silver Institute does once again. Are they going to tell the truth and say, oh by the way, in 2024 we're looking at maybe let's see three. 700 to 800 million ounces of silver going into solar. That's that's an easy back of the envelope number to figure out. Are they going to say that? Hell no. They're going to lie, cheat, and steal. And, and fake numbers, again, they're going to have to go back and change all their numbers again, historical numbers, to make it look like there's not much going on in silver. Just such a ridiculous joke. So the United States, bang, we're going to do 100% more than we did last year. That's more than China did last year, and China's going to do at least 100% as well, overall. In the first quarter, they were up 33%. Are they going to do the 100%? Yeah, they are. They've already said they're going to. They have to 3x by 2030. So, yeah, it's all happening. Um, Chinese uh, PV industry brief, Conway, Canadian Solar, and JA Solar report earnings. Everybody has huge jumps in what they're doing in 2024, and... You can hear a lot about overcapacity of manufacturing and of solar panels. Absolutely. But most of that is PERC, not TopCon. TopCon, again, 70, 80% of all installs this year was going to be TopCon or better, or better meaning more silver used. TopCon or better. So, and that's what, 50% more silver? Nobody really knows. The, even the solar mining or the solar installation companies and manufacturers. They don't really know how much silver they use. And they clearly won't tell people like the Silver Institute. Um, or, you know, they don't want the price of silver to go up. Are you kidding? Can you imagine spending billions of dollars on expanding your top con manufacturing lines of solar panels? And all of a sudden, silver goes from, you know, $30 an ounce to $3,000 an ounce, and you can't use them anymore. And you got to figure out a way around that. They don't want that. Nobody wants it. Everybody wants cheap silver. You don't want to pay extra for your flat screen TVs. Imagine paying an extra two, three thousand dollars for your flat screen TV because it has an ounce or two of silver in it. Nobody wants that. We're fighting everybody in the world, but silver is getting massively misallocated into solar panels, into flat screen TVs, into electric cars. You name it. 
because the price has criminally been held so low, the entire industry is about to completely implode, which will take down the banking cabal, which will take down the globe. Silver is the key, by the way. Um, so yeah, all the uh, manufacturers in China are, are expanding, 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 no matter what it says in the news. Um, as far as silver uh, traded on the comics, look at how low, I mean, obviously it's not low if you have a brain that can determine what's a lot of silver, but the volume was only 53,000 contracts. That's what, 250 million ounces, which is tiny for the criminal comics. What the hell is going on in the comics? Why is, why is volume just shrinking into nowhere as we approach $30 silver? Um, we did have interesting stuff. I looked at um, Harvey Organ's blog, and he, he tracks the amount of exchange for physicals. Those are comics contracts that go to London for delivery. Um, and so far in the first four months... We're looking at 450 million ounces. Uh, theoretically, went over to London for delivery. 450 million. Uh, this month isn't looking that great so far. Only 16, but it's early. This, these numbers can jump fast. Uh, traditionally, over the last uh, few years that Harvey's been tracking it, over a billion ounces gets removed from Comics contracts and moved over to London for delivery. And if you don't think that London delivers. You know, that's a crazy number. Of course it's a crazy number. Look how much, you want to see a crazier number. Look at the comics, um, or the, sorry, the LBMA daily average of transferred, quote, transferred silver is, you know, the daily average. You look at 250 million ounces transferred every single day. And that, does that blow your mind? It should. 250 million every day. That's why a lot of people say LBMA is just a joke. It's not even an exchange. It's an association. Uh, used to be an exchange, so they said, but then all of a sudden it said, no, 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 no. We can't have everyday people trading in this. Um, we have to control this game. So there's a lot of metal going in and out of the LBMA, supposedly. Um, the amount of transfers has really increased, although the millions of, in the millions of dollars, it goes down and down. Per day, though, it's so big, it's so ridiculous Imagine 250 million ounces transferred per day, and you're wondering how does India, I mean, India's on track to import 500 million ounces, 500 million. Everybody was shocked at 300 million. They're on track for 500 million, five. Uh, China's probably more than that. Why, why not just give all the silver we have to India and China? That's what's happening, and not even counting the rest of the world. Um, no, Elon, you can't have any silver, apparently. You think Elon doesn't know what... I, I guarantee you Elon knows, is probably watching this video right now. He knows exactly what's going on in silver and always has. Silver is so important to his businesses, to his solar panels, to his electric cars, to his space, to his everything that, that Elon does is contingent upon cheap, available, physical silver. So you, you wonder how much of this is going into the coffers of Elon. You got China, you got you got India, and you got Elon, and you got Warren Buffett most likely under the table. Uh, yes, I do believe that Buffett is going to just help destroy the banking cabal as he tried to do in the late '90s um, through the purchase of silver. We don't know how much silver ha Warren Buffett has. He does own a jewelry company. One of the, I think it's K Jewelers. Uh, which gives him the ability to store a hell of a lot of silver for the jewelry. It's for the jewelry. Um, also, he owns a railroad with massive amounts of uh, land leases where he owns the mineral rights under the railroad tracks. Really interesting stuff. Um, a lot of that's gold, but also could be silver. Probably silver. Especially as you go through uh, Southern California, where Dianne Feinstein has locked up 41% of Southern California into the federal government so Gavin Newsom can't, you know, break away as a rogue state when Trump gets elected or things like that. I don't know if there'll be an election. I, I Truthfully, I don't think so. Um, because there'll be so much chaos between now and then. And we're getting close. I mean, we're down to, you know, we're, it, it's, it's going to be very interesting because the good guys and the bad guys won't, both want to destroy the system and both are running out of time. So between now and... 
November, expect the, the, the biggest of the chaos to happen and then continue for decades. Who knows how long this is going to last? Now, there are people behind the scenes, the good guys, as I call them. Um, I was calling them good guys long before the Q movement and all that stuff. Um, through the, the Road to Ruta documents, I found that the Fed on January 1st, 20, uh, 2007, shows there are good guys behind the scenes, even at the Fed and the U.S. Treasury, trying to trying to help with the transition. We've been planning for this transition for over 100 years. So I, I don't think it's going to be as bad as most people think, but you know, having all the bank accounts shut down and having to reallocate assets to the people of the United States, that's going to be hard. For other countries, it's going to be really hard. You don't have a, if you don't have a strong constitution like we do have, I know we haven't been following it, and we basically have a president who's shitting on it. Uh, we still have a constitution. We will return to the constitution um, as this stuff falls apart, and then we point fingers. Politicians, bankers, deep state, pedophiles, point, 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 point. Um, and they're all going to go down and p be taken out. That's my, that's my prediction, and that's my hope, and that's what I fight for. And I hope everybody else does too. Really interesting time for Jeff Christian and this the CPM group because they are going they they delayed the release of their silver market update. Uh, this is their annual silver report um, yearbook they call it for, by a week, and then they get to release it. The reason I'm saying it's really interesting time for CPM group is that they have the ability to differentiate themselves from the Silver Institute and Metals Focus. What they did. Because Silver Institute and Metals Focus completely lied on the solar numbers, on the industrial numbers for silver. CPM Group can come out and say, hey, those guys don't know what they're talking about. We know what we're talking about. The, the solar numbers are actually double the what the um, Silver Institute said. So CP, Jeff Christian, hey, I think that's why, hopefully it's why he, he said there's going to be a delay because anybody can have a calculator and figure out how much solar panel? How many solar panels went in last year, and how much was supposedly sold or silver the year before? Even Jeff Christian's numbers. So there better be at least a seventy-six percent increase in Jeff Christian's numbers from the year before. And I actually, I, I do plan on buying the silver yearbook and the last year's silver yearbook. I never, I think I bought one of Jeff's yearbooks years ago, but now it's it's it, because it was hardback. It was kind of cool. And they charge like 150 bucks for it. I think it's still 150 bucks, but it's um, a PDF download. Hey, I'm, I'm not bitching about the price, but um, it'll be interesting if 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 his if the calculator doesn't work on Jeff Christian's reports. This is his shot at the big time, or get back in the limelight, because CP if CPM Group comes out and says, uh, you know, 375 to 400 million ounces of silver was used last year in solar and um the metal focus got it wrong by half um that would really stand out jeff you know think about it think long and hard about you know putting some real numbers up so we're, we're all watching the world is watching if they're if they jack around with the numbers like the silver institute said all we have to do is take this last year uh, 2022 numbers times it by 1.7 uh, was it seven six or seven eight Seven six one point seven six percent, and that should be a minimum of what the. I mean, it's not obviously it's not that cut and dry, but there was also a lot of extra solar panels made, so we'll see. I I think he's going to be well above at least for the. I don't know if Jeff uh, breaks out solar in his in his industrial demand side. He should. It's the number one thing for industrial demand, and it's what's changing the world. Um, he should have a whole big narrative on it, but we'll find out, right? We'll find out. Jeff, good luck. You, you have a chance. You have a chance to hit the big time. All you got to do is say, uh, the Silver Institute and Metals Focus was wrong. It wasn't 190 million ounces. It was actually 380, 400 million ounces. And it's a simple calculation. If you need my calculator, call me. I'll give it to you. That's what I got for you today. Um, you want to join the private road, road Ruta? Get your theta, get your theta, get your theta. Um, even if you don't understand cryptos, it's great to have a little bit in your safe. Um, we'll, all the crypto people will understand it for you. How's that? We'll, we'll be nice to you. And no, if the internet goes down, you don't, you're not going to lose your theta. 
when the internet comes back up, you got your theta. You got the same amount of theta you had when, before the internet went down. If the internet doesn't come back up, the world's over anyway. Everything relies on the internet now. We'd have nuclear power meltdowns all over the world and thus the end of the world. So that's a, a lousy argument. A solar flare or the death of the internet or no power. I have my gold. Who's going to give a shit about gold in that world? You, you ever watch Mad Max? How many? How much gold was were they dealing in? Now they're dealing in you know gasoline and and food and <laughs> shit like that. In that kind of world, it, all bets are off for investments. Who gives a shit about investments? So think about it. The future is going to be uh, the use of decentralized cryptocurrencies. Crypto tokens, and, and Theta is the best of them, in my opinion. And I've analyzed it all at Private Road at Road to Ruta. You can join today. Click on subscribe, and we will send you five Theta, 50 T Fuel, and 500 T Drop already loaded on Paper Wallet. All you have to do is stick it in your vault and wait for a couple of years and then go buy yourself a Ferrari. <laughs> Maybe a little Matchbox Ferrari. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, I believe they'll go up. Like, I believe that the Bitcoin we gave out when we were giving away 0.1 Bitcoin a while back, I, I believe that would go up. And obviously it has. And those 0.1 Bitcoins are now worth $6,700, $6,500 or whatever Bitcoin is today um, for each private road member that had their that, that still has their little paper wallet of 0.1 Bitcoin. So that's what I got for you. This is Big Square. Go to RoadToRuda.com. Click like and subscribe. Send this to your friends. Interesting times everywhere. I'll talk to you later. Yeah.